I am Rob. I think stuttering affects us particularly emotionally because the ability to communicate with language is a uniquely human trait. It's a uniquely human ability and somehow the inability to do this in social situations and professional situations makes you feel separate from the rest of humanity in some ways. This closures the proper hit and hold. This closures of the deeds. This closures. Very good. And he also prolonged many of the words and went through block and holes. Um, and the majority of the people were friendly. Uh, were very friendly. It's heartbreaking. I mean, sometimes I think it. Robbie's a very strong person, and I, I know a lot of things just roll off his shoulders that don't off of mine. And when I s see him so frustrated and struggling, it breaks my heart, and I cry. I, like I said, I always cry. They arrive here on a Wednesday evening, and they've got to sit in front of a camera and answer a few simple questions. What's your name? And some of them were were really, really struggling. There was no sound, there was a lot of facial distortion, there was a whole load of stuff going on. And that's only the bit you can see, because most of the stuff is the emotional stuff under the surface. Like any good coach, we want to clean up the physical, what's going on physically. And that starts with the breathing. We teach them a different way of breathing, that operatic diaphragmatic breathing, which is a, what we call costal breathing. And after three, two... And then, then getting into the psychological. Because we have to address this huge pot of fear, which is the fear of stammering. To get them to accept the fact they have to start over with their speaking. They are beginning speakers now, beginners. Like any sport, you start off as a beginner, and you, if you go trying to fool people that you're an expert, well, you're going to look pretty, pretty, pretty foolish, and, you're gonna, and your performance is going to go way down because you're, you're thinking, hey, well, <laughs> I've been busted here. I'm not very good. I'm a beginner. Robert Pickin. One one five eighteen South Artesian Chicago, Illinois six oh six five five. And give us your name one more time, really assertively. It's great. Robert Pickin. Fantastic. I'm feeling ext extremely happy because I finally have this huge burden off my shoulders. The new students get so excited at the transformation that it's, it's infectious, you know. It really affects us. We come back because we are inspired by them. I'm just trying to practice, practice my speech because I'm here for a st stuttering convention. So thank you for your time. You're doing good. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Yes. You have a good day, guys. OK. Thank you so Whenever much. anything freezes up, just let it out. OK. Really don't fight through anything. OK. Um, your energy will be used much more. At first, I was pre pretty nervous, and now, well, t towards t t 20 and further, it felt like a walk in the park, where the food court is. Yes. Yeah. In that direction. Okay. Third floor. Okay. Thank you. Really good technique right there. Wednesday, 
I could not even say my name. Now, words are flowing right out. It feels awesome because I feel like a new man. Robert Pickin. The fear and the panic and the terror that goes way back to when you're a little kid, when you're getting bullied when you, and laughed at and teased, is, goes very, very deep. And that can overwhelm you. But when you get that support of people who've been through it and know what to do, then you have, then it holds, then it sticks. I felt g guilty sometimes for my mom having a son who wasn't normal. Now I feel like I can give my mom, my family, my g girlfriend what a normal, fluent person can.